Government is not perfect. Everyone has an opinion on how to fix it. Something violent and non-violent protests are the answer. But they're not. Others think we should wait until the existing system collapses upon itself and live in small tribal farming communes. Also an unsavory answer. The governing power should be in the hands of the governed. On paper, the government system we have works well. Citizens elect fellow citizens to positions of power. These elected officials are to be conduits of the citizens' will. Of course, in practice this is not the case. Lobbyists bribe politicians. These politicians make decisions in the interests of the corporations that fund their campaigns. This allows counterintuitive legislation that is not always in the best interest of specific groups of people. It appears the only safe option is to out-bribe corporations. But this simply isn't practical. Corporations are too wealthy. But the solution is simple. Elect an idea, not a politician, that represents the constituents' interests. The best way to do this is the internet, the technology that lets people around the world communicate at the speed of light. The Obama administration has experimented with this idea using the White House petition website. Why not take it a step further? Think of an online direct democracy system that allows any citizen to draft legislation with the capability for all citizens to vote on it. Supporters of this system could still elect representatives who implement laws in their designated region, professionally draft legislation, and review legislation for anachronistic rules. But whether or not a law passes is by a pure democratic vote. No personal group can decide what is best for the whole, except for the whole. Philosopher kings are non-existent. Society will be divided over issues, and there are no objective moral truths. There are only sets of laws that measurably improve society, and sets of laws that do not. Problems in political systems arise when groups have different ideas about what is moral and beneficial. Via de direct democracy, if a law seems to hurt society, the people of that society have the freedom to repeal it, given they have knowledge of the problem. As of now, there are significant barriers in converting public concern into practical solutions for society. This system would eliminate them. The cringe-inducing democratic circus of our time must come to an end. Partisan politics is not about cooperating to benefit the will of the people. It's the civilized alternative to using armed combat. Most importantly, remember that government is ideally an organization that allows society to pool its resources together to benefit society as a whole. This is traditionally done through taxation. Citizens are the ones who pay and will pay for government programs. Citizens should be able to directly influence what happens with those resources. People are afraid of pioneering untested ideas. That's a reasonable concern. Fortunately, decentralized systems have already been tested and they work. While different, Switzerland already practices a form of direct democracy with excellent results. 24 states in the US practice a form of direct democracy, which is how marijuana was made legal in Colorado and Washington. Decentralized systems such as Wikipedia, the internet, and the human brain have all been wildly successful. The turmoil of political systems around the world 
bring omens of the world's destruction. We pollute the earth, plunder one another for resources, and fall ignorant to the misery of our peers. <laughs> one can stand idly by, or rally protest in designated free speech zones, while a true fool plays the role of a terrorist. We need not fear the future. The answer stares us in the face every day.